Hello my nerdy friends to another video, Pokemon Black version. So I about had a heart attack yesterday, so when I was uh, making the video and stuff and uh, I was trying to uh, <laughs> check my recordings, I accidentally saved over the, um, the last save slot on the uh, emulator. Um, so I thought I lost my whole file. So I was like, oh, wow, okay. Now I gotta replay this whole game off to the side and hurry up and do it within a day. But no, luckily the system uh, saved uh, saved it somewhat and it was weird. Um, it saved before I battled Skyla because I saved the game right before I battled her. And uh, <laughs> I had to beat her, go all the way up through the route beat Sharon, get the Surf TM again, go back in the Twist Mountain, and go back to where I was in the last video. And I about had a heart attack. I was like, really? I don't want to have to play through all six gyms again. Try to get the same team, get the same movesets. Yeah, I would, I'd be devastated. <laughs> oh, look at that. We got a bonus lemonade. I just wanted a few. But yeah, I, I had a almost literal heart attack. Um, not sure what I would do if I lost everything. I would continue on, obviously, but it was like, man, that would that would utterly suck for me to replay it all. The genders don't matter to me. What matters is me trying to get kind of the same pokes um, that we made throughout the journey, of course. But yeah, luckily. Every, uh, what we had right before Skyla was there. So I started making two save slots. And, uh, just so we make sure we don't lose anything. <laughs> but anyways, on to the video. So, we're in Twist Mountain. Ooh, we found Flash Cannon, which is an awesome steel move. Sorry, I had to scratch my eye for a second. Is there something here? I'm gonna bring out the dowsing machine while we're here, because I don't know if something's here or not. No, I don't think there is. So this is an ice rock, I believe you use it to get Glaceon, because uh, there's a moss rock in Pinwheel Forest, um, so I believe you get leafy, leafy on that way. So this little deep part this is really cool. Dang. Is there an item? It must be where I cannot get it. <laughs> it's okay. I haven't been using my dowsing machine like I should have. Shoot. Anyways. Yeah, I haven't been using it as much as I should have. Which is fine. I'll, I'll typically, like I said, go back and retrace my steps. But with all that issue I had with the video. Yeah. I didn't really feel like doing that. <laughs> oh, we got a, uh, a Dusk Stone. That's actually kind of nice. It could be for Lampet. <laughs> wow. Yeah, another item I can't get. Da, 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 da. But yeah, I tried to get everybody back up to 38 again because I was like, oh man. So, because I had to level everybody back up again. And it was, it was a pain. It was close to an hour because I had to try to get everybody where they were. Huh? Pretty strong, but you're only strong because you trainers are controlling Pokemon. So if you want to set Pokemon free, if that's what you want. You should start with your own. But taking people's Pokemon by force is not right. This is not real strength. Hey, there you are. We found that thing we were looking for. We should head for the tower now. Get this, Team Plasma's attained the power to change this world and end people's control over Pokemon. That's right. We must use force in order to right the wrongs of the world. Now let's gather our, our round our king, our lord in. Ooh, some drama. Alright, Jaren, you can stay. 
But since we pretty much discovered Twist Mountain, which, man, I didn't realize we were already to the end. Cedric Juniper! Well, I've heard of it. My NPC probably has not heard of it. If you guys want to read, you guys can read. I was just... It's nothing crazy. He's just talking about Dragon Spiral Tower. I love this little town. I'm gonna do a little bit of exploration. Ooh, we got a random item, and it's Ultra Ball. There's another one here. Wow, a timer ball. Someone must be losing their balls. <laughs> I had to. I'm sorry. I, I really had to. A max revive. That's pretty cool. So what a max revive does, obviously, you know what a revive does. It heals a, uh, a fainted Pokemon. A max revive heals a fainted Pokemon, but fully heals it on top of that. So normally a revive would just heal like maybe a quarter of health um, when a Pokemon's fainted, but a max revive fully heals it all. But also, the water that you walk on is essentially like grass, as you see, we ran into a Palpatine. Which honestly, I think Palpatine is probably better than Caracasa in terms of uh, probably typing. I bet there's an item there. So, some stuff is kind of weird. So you'll find certain stuff that you can't access to or get to. Like, for example, that cliff up there with the dark grass, you cannot access it unless it's the winter. So certain things, it's really cool. I like how the seasons are because the seasons do matter to a point, um, especially when trying to get to certain spots or secret little areas. Interesting. So Bryson is the next gym leader of this town. I love this town. I think it's really peaceful. I think it's cute. Um, it's really, hey, it's enjoyable to be here. And I like the music here. Oh, okay. I I'm confused. Oh, it's a pep quiz. Okay. All right. This is actually kind of cool. A question. What is the tool you use when you take pictures? I feel like this is obvious, right? Is it just a camera? Um... I don't know. So I gotta say something. That's the Pokemon move stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I've never done this. I mean, really. Okay. There, there it is. Camera. I had to find it. I didn't know where it was at. <laughs> See, I'm not even moving. It's moving me. <laughs> so I guess you could do a little quiz every day. That's actually kind of cute. I didn't even know that. Okay. <laughs> That tells you how much I explore the houses when I'm by myself. I just go straight to the story. Oh, the Pokemon Fan Club. Yeah, why not? We'll show you uh, Flambo because we've had Flambo since the beginning. Ooh, and we got an XP share. Sorry, I was drinking water. So that's so you get two XP shares in the game. That's 
actually pretty good because in these games XP share is an item for those that might not have known that so I guess in this episode we're just gonna do a little bit of exploring of the area why not I'm gonna bring out the dowsing machine because it clearly seems like there's stuff oh don't tell me there's an I yeah you see that's what I'm saying it tricks me because in order to get the stuff like this you have to have uh, it has to be winter and it has to have snow so it's like man that's a tease I want that item <laughs> Oh, okay. I always forget you can't be on top of it. So we got a max elixir. Man, definitely use your dowsing machine going through here. So we got a few trainers. We're gonna battle them. So if you keep going up north, there's this little dark kind of entrance to go into that I believe is called the Moor of Asiris or something. You can do like a Kildeo event. Um, I, you, I think you have to have all three swords of justice with Kildia in your party, and Kildia learns a secret sword, and it changes his form as well. That's, that's pretty cool. We got a little bit of a disadvantage here, but it's fine. We should do enough. Yeah. You have brine. That, okay. I mean, I guess it makes sense. You're a nice type, you have a water move. I guess that's... I guess that makes somewhat sense. And look, and since it's autumn, the uh, the area is kind of uh, orangish, orangish red, a little bit of browns. I think that I think that's just it adds like a dot a touch of re realistic to this game. Oh, uh, it's a double-edged sword. When I say a double-edged sword, just so you guys know, it means like I I'm good against it, but it's also good against me. That's if I if you guys hear me say that term. I'm sure you guys probably know that term double-edged sword Oh, uh, We'll just go for dig. I feel like Vinny is the safest approach now Palpatode I believe might have some rock moves Ooh. Come on, stop stop with the healing. Man, this girl is setting up. We got Aqua Ring. We got Rain. What are we doing? Competitive VGC? <laughs> I mean, holy crap. And now my accuracy drops. See, we don't have anything for water. Now we can beat Palpatine. But I'm just saying though, for this to not be so long if we had a grass type. Because you can't hit this guy with electric, he's water ground. But if we had a grass type, he'd be he'd be gone. <laughs> That's why I kind of wish I might have gotten a Swaddle. Um, I guess still get Swaddle. But, I don't know. I just, I like Scolipede more. Bug Poison type, why not? <laughs> and he can learn ground moves. This might have not been the best choice. I was not thinking about that. <laughs> we're going to Flambo. Like I said, in this video, I'm just, just going to chill. I didn't realize we were already at the end of Twist Mountain because it's been a while. <laughs> but we'll battlefield these trainers in this uh, area. Get some EXP. So currently, I'm trying to make my own card game. Um, I just wanted to throw that out there because, shoot, I've been working on it last night so essentially it uses the Pokemon game mechanics and it go and you have a board game as well and you travel the region using it and it's it's really neat I tried to keep the uh, the acts the aspects 
of the video game in it. Like stat wise, um, unpredictability of uh, accuracy, moves, things like that. Someone else tried to do something like that. And apparently they're on hiatus, but they've been on hi hiatus, which means a long period of time of wait. Um, for man, several months. So I wanted to make my own version of it. So it's like, why not? No one's gonna stop me. Unless you sell it and the Pokemon company's like, yeah, you can't do that. Pokemon company is bad about that. Like, I love the company because they release all these wonderful games, but then you're gonna come for my neck for selling something that I took my time to make that you guys couldn't make. Like, and apparently this guy did reach out to Pokemon company uh, and apparently they refused it. Now I don't know how true it is that he reached out to them. I don't. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not saying who who said what. But if he did, um, that would suck that they did not accept something like that. Because we have the Pokemon. Uh, we have the very first Pokemon game where uh, they were like little chips, and you would go around the region and you land on the tile, and then you encounter the Pokemon. It was really cool. Uh, you could catch all the first generation. Uh, they never made like an upper two to it for Johto, which sadly didn't happen. But yeah, um, I wish we had like a realistic feeling board game. I, I, it's probably too much for Pokemon themselves. Um, I guarantee it, because if they haven't done it now, they probably won't. I mean, they're coming out with Pokemon Pocket, alright? It's an alternative, like, to the Pokemon TCG Live app. Which, I mean, you could do quick games with it. That's all it is. You know, opening packs, like a few packs a day. Uh, making decks, I guess, out of those packs. I don't know exactly how it's gonna work. It's still, it's not out yet. We probably have a couple months until Pokemon Pocket TCG or whatever it's called comes out. But I think it's a, it's a really interesting concept, you know, uh, having matches that probably last maybe about five, ten minutes. It's not like, like crazy log, like some of the TCG live matches could be. Man, this area is kind of big. Let's see. I think we're fine. Oh, she gave us a random TM's facade. So if you have a, like, I think if you're paralyzed, burned, um, poisoned, you do more. Yeah, the power doubles. I think it's a, it's, it's a unique, uh, TM. I like the usage of it. I feel like it'd be for, like, a Pokemon that if you put, like, one of those orbs on it, like the toxic orb, uh, it would poison it itself. And they use facade, that, that'd be kind of crazy. Sorry, I'm a little tired. We had to move our clocks forward, so... Time is kind of eh. I don't like the whole moving clocks back and forward. It throws me off. Every year it throws me off. I like it, it's, it's crazy. Thank you for making me a water type. Now I don't have to worry about you. <laughs> Ooh, awesome. Not even joking, I might stay in. I want Sandy to get to level 40. Now, will we in this episode? Probably not. But, I want to get as close as I can to it. Wow, that does so much. I'm a water type now. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All our lemonades. I'm just listening to the music. <laughs> like I told you guys, if I'm quiet, I'm just listening to it. Not mean to click that. I love Basculin. But why? Why couldn't you give it an evolution in these games? Uh, 
bit of heal. Why not? We'll use the max potion on Benny. Just so we have a decent team. Because watch something random whoop us. And that's it. <laughs> I swear. It happened in that Pokemon Black 2 Redux. But I mean, that's because those games are harder. I get that. But man. Something random just whoop us. That would be so embarrassing. <laughs> What was the point of the suit belt? I don't think anything in Unova is friendship other than um, Squad Loon. I think that's the only evolution in this region. I believe. <laughs> Hair cell Lady Lumi. Ooh. Al. Al? Alomola. Alomola? It's like a Hawaiian kind of name. Alomola. <laughs> Me over here trying to pronounce it. Ooh! Ooh, that's, that's gonna hurt. Actually, it did not do as much as I thought it was. And now we're doing like double damage worth of crunch because we lowered his defense. Now. I'm going to be disappointed in myself if this crunch does not finish. <laughs> Technically, I'm disappointed because of the protect. <laughs> I play. <laughs> like, what's the point of the move protect? I get it. Um, in competitive battling, you can use protect to make uh, poison or burn or whatever. Um, put a little bit more chip damage on a Pokemon uh, even further as turns pass. Oh, did you see that? What the heck? Okay. Oh, we got a heat rock. I don't even know what it does. Let's see if she explains it. Oh, she's just giving us. That is crazy. So they're all at Dragon Spiral Tower, but we're probably not going to do anything with that until the, ne uh, the next episode or two. But I believe the gym is before that, though. Let's uh, heal Sandy. Because poor little Sandy. We do not want her to faint. A ranger. You know, I thought about it. Why don't they make the remake the Pokemon Ranger games? I'm just wondering how hard it is to do it on the Switch. Because the Switch is touch screen. But how do you do a Ranger game? Because in the Ranger games, you had to do that little loop thing around the Pokemon or whatever on that bottom screen. So I wonder how they would even incorporate something like that. What do you do? You have to move your joystick around to do it? I'm just, I'm just curious. My Pokemon games is not too hard to do that well. Like normal Pokemon games is not hard to import it onto uh, the Switch. Alright, come on. There we go. Awesome, Sandy level 40. Foul play is definitely better than assurance. I think the the damage that the Pokemon does to you last, the opposing, I think foul play does more if you get hit. I don't know. And look at that. She's evolving. Into a beautiful crocodile. I can't wait. So our team has been fully evolved. I just wanted to go ahead and get her those two levels because I was like... Alright, I want Crocodile and I want Crocodile now. Crocodile's probably not going to be good at this coming up gym since it's ice, but I wanted to go ahead and get her up there. So awesome. And then we got some Petra Berries. Yeah, that's A. Oh, I saw that item over there. I'll get it when we come back out. Let me... I 
thought someone needed to get healed, but I guess we're good. I really need to organize this bag. <laughs> Actually, is it already organized? I'll have to, I'll have to do that later. Let me take that off Sandy, and I'm gonna put Vinny to the front. Awesome, so we got Crocodile. So here's where you do the Keldeo event, and uh, an old man walks up and stuff. It's, a, hey, I think it's really neat. All those events bring so much nostalgia. <laughs> so, okay, let me tell you guys something. So when it is in the winter, it's so difficult. So you gotta slide across this water, which becomes ice to get all of these items, and you use these stumps to stop yourself at some points, and try and get them. And it's so annoying. I'm so glad it's not winter. I can just grab these items now. <laughs> I mean, really. Oh. Heck yeah. Benny. Benny. <laughs> I like how Vinny is the only name on my team that's capitalized. I can't get over that. I accidentally didn't lower the name. Cause before um before I even caught Vinny, I was playing Emerald. And uh the in that game all the Pokemon names are capitalized no matter what. And I didn't even I didn't even think about it. It didn't even cross my mind. Oh, anyways. Oh I love Fracture. So we can get an actually at the Mashalta Cave. Um, I believe it's Route 6. Yes, Route 6. I had to think for a second. It's right before Charso Cave. Ooh, Cit now Citra Berries are good. They heal way more than uh, Orange Berries. All these wonderful items. Some we might not use. Like, I don't even use Elixirs. I don't even know what Elixirs do. I think they... They, they heal up your PP for your moves, right? <laughs> I couldn't say. That tells you how much I use elixirs. Let's battle hard, I think. There might be one more trainer. Or maybe this is it. Oh, Emolga. I like Emolga. I think it's a, it's a really cute Pokemon. I don't... Maybe it's okay being one stage. It is the Pikachu clone of the region, which is funny. Every region has a Pikachu clone. I'm not even joking. So we got, okay, we got Pikachu. All right, we got Pachirisu. I'm about to butcher some names. We got Minim and Plusl. We got Amalga. We got Dendene. We got more Pico. And what, what else do we have? I'm probably, I'm probably, oh, Palmy, which is from the new region, uh, Scarlet and Violet. So, <laughs> we got a lot of Pikachu clothes, and I'm probably, I guarantee you, I'm probably missing one. Alright, am I faster? I am. Um, I, I, I risked it. <laughs> Try to get everybody up in levels. Ooh, okay, good job, Vinny. I think st oh yeah, steamroller. So I, ooh, it doesn't do as good as that though. I'm gonna get rid of pursuit. I mean, we got dark moves on our team. Like Stoutland has one, and Tartuga has one. So I'm not much worried about the coverage in that department. Ala, Alamo Mola. <laughs> I don't like the name. So everyone thought that thing was the, the evolution of Love Disc, which I couldn't see that. They look way too different. Now you could say Magic Up and Caradus looks way different, or Dragonair and Dragonite looks way different, but this thing, I don't know. I mean, it, it resembles each other because of the heart-shaped kind of body, but I don't know, the eyes, it just, it doesn't speak to me, Love Disc. <laughs> it don't. Um, I should just went to Thor. Sign just doesn't do enough right now. Sorry, I had to stretch. 
like I said, I'm still tired. Oh, that must be a fighting move. I was like, what? Like, uh, this is, I thought it was a normal move. Thank you. I bet that recoil. Oh. I took like 30 damage. <laughs> We're gonna stay in. If I get a defense drop, takedown, that would be wonderful. I don't like that acupuncture. This should. Yeah, that should fame. That's what I, I thought. <laughs> awesome. Everybody's getting some levels. Like I said, I don't like a team that's uh like off leveled. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and put Flame on the front. That was an accident, but hey, it actually works. <laughs> I am tired of this touchy controller, though. I'm going to definitely have to get a gaming one to connect to my PC. I'll probably battle this guy later. Um, probably in my own time. Just because we're already over the 30 minute mark and I was like, yeah, we, we've got pretty much everybody. And we got all the items that we can get. Let me rephrase that. Some stuff we can't get because we can't get. Alright, we gotta wait for the snow. <laughs> Alright, well, it looks like that'll be the end of this video. So, in the next video, we'll be checking out why is this Dragon Spiral Tower quite mysterious, and I wonder who the gym leader is of this town. So, hey, we'll find out in the next few episodes, so I'm quite excited to get our 7th badge and figuring out why this story is quite mysterious the way it is. Anyways, please comment, like, subscribe. Uh, my videos, if you guys are enjoying my content, um, if you guys don't enjoy my content, let me know. I mean, either way, I probably do these playthroughs, but let me know if there's anything I could change, honestly. You know, I want stuff to be interesting to you guys, and uh, maybe a change would be good for me, you know? Hey, uh, keep doing playthroughs, but maybe change up into a challenge. Hey, that'd be fun with me. <laughs> and also hit that notification bell to also uh, get notified of future content and anything that I post. Anyways, my nerdy friends, have a good day, good night, and good evening, and please, take care. Nerdy friends, out.